Hey everyone, and welcome back to another eShop Deals video. Now this weekend is actually gonna be really special. Why? Because we're going to do two back-to-back -back videos, one today and one tomorrow. And if you're wondering why, well, it's just because the deals right now, there are so many that there was no way I could trim down the list of games to under 60 games. And 60 games in one video was just impossible to do. So I'm going to be splitting it up, 30 today, 30 tomorrow in no peculiar order. Now, if you're wondering why there are so many deals on the eShop right now, well, this week we had an Indie Direct to announce some of the new indie games coming to the Nintendo Switch. And in that video, Nintendo announced an indie sale. And basically everyone jumped on board. And within the day, we had over 500 new deals hitting the eShop above and beyond the about 800 that were already there. Now, as usual, I just want to give a quick reminder that I'm not going to go over the deals that were in last week's video. And a lot of those games are still on sale as well. So if you want to make sure before you drop the money right now that you're getting a lay of the land of all the deals I'm recommending, do check out last week's video. And also, in case you missed it, I did a video on Wednesday as we do every week for all the best games under $5. Now, except for a couple of exceptions, because I believe I missed them on Wednesday or either they popped up since then, I will not have games under $5 on today's list exceptionally. And if you want those, go check out Wednesday's video. It is not that long. There were only about 15 games on it. But nonetheless, some are really, really amazing games. Now, we'll still have a ton of budget deals today because there are a ton of games between that $5 to $10 price point nonetheless. One last thing before we get started, my description on each game might be a little shorter this week because basically not only for my sanity in being able to record these two videos, but also for all of you that want to watch both of them, I don't want it to wind up an hour long for both videos. And don't forget as we go through the video that if you do like what you're seeing, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Now, the first game is one that I just had to mention, and that is Hades. That is currently 20% off, dropping the price to $19.99. Now, this is an action roguelite game, but it is actually, in my opinion, the best roguelite that we currently have on the Switch. It was even my selection for game of the year last year. So if you're into the action genre or roguelites in general, definitely pick up Hades for this week. Now, the next game on our list is actually a shadow drop from that Indie Direct, and that is Fez. Now, it's only 10% off at $13.49, but I'll be honest, I don't think it's going to get better than this for quite a while, because this is a game that will probably sell at full price, no problem. This is basically a puzzle platformer with a really original premise. Basically, you normally live in a 2D world, but you get reality warping abilities, allowing you to shift between 2D and 3D. It is honestly one of the best puzzle platformers that I've played in the last 10 years. If you want a great experience, definitely pick this game up. Now, the next game on our list is not necessarily my top pick, but it is on sale and it is on sale at its best available price, which is Just Dance 2021. A lot of people are into Just Dance. My daughters would kill me if I didn't mention this game. And basically right now for people who can't get out, it's a great way to get moving. It's right now 60% off, dropping the price to $19.99. Now the next game is a game that I guess I missed on my under $5 list. And I am sorry, a viewer turned me on to this game and I actually bought it yesterday and played through it in one sitting. It is an amazing puzzle platformer and that is Limbo, which is 80% off for only $1.99. If you're into puzzle platformers and Fez is too expensive for you, Limbo is a definite pickup at $2. Only a slight warning, I managed to play through it in about three hours. But at $2 for three hours, I was feeling really great because the experience is amazing. Now the next game on our list is going to be Terraria. That is currently 50% off, dropping the price to $14.99. Look, a lot of games try to copy the concept of Minecraft, but few were as successful as Terraria. And what I love about this game is it is now huge, meaning that for only $15, you probably have months and months of gameplay. If you love the sandbag genre, definitely pick up Terraria. Now the next game on our list is going to be Castle Crashers Remastered. That is 40% off, dropping the price to $8.99. 
Now, this is a 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up, and it is among the best on the Switch. We have two other beat-em-ups on this list for this week, so if you want to wait till the end of tomorrow's list to make sure that you're picking up the right one, I would say, though, that there is no wrong choice for this week, and Castle Crashers, if you need any convincing for yourself, does have a free downloadable demo. As usual, I do mention that these games are a lot better in co-op, but there is tons of fun to be had in one player mode as well. Now, the next game on our list is pretty much my choice for the top party game currently on the Nintendo Switch, and that is Overcooked 2, which is currently 50% off, dropping the price to $12.49. Now, the first one is also on sale, and it will be featured a little bit later on the list, and it's only $5. So if you need convincing and you don't want to drop $12.49, you can start with the first one. It's pretty much the same concept, just the graphics and gameplay are a little less smooth. But basically, you're playing different cooks that have to work together to deliver orders. Fair warning though, if you're playing with people that have a temper and that are competitive, sometimes it can get quite heated. Now the next game that I want to take a look at is another 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up, and it is once again among one of the best we have on the Switch, which is Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game that is currently 20% off, dropping the price to $11.99. Look, basically everything I said about Castle Crashers is still good about Scott Pilgrim. It is among the best, some awesome pixelated graphics. The story mode actually has a little bit of content to it. And on top of it, once again, even better when you're playing with friends. Now, the next game on our list is one of the best Metroidvanias that we have on the Switch, and that is Ori and the Will of the Wisps that is currently 20% off for $23.99. Look, if you're into Metroidvanias and you haven't played this game yet, this is a game that you just cannot miss. You have to pay, basically pick up. Great visuals, great gameplay, and on top of it, this game sells with, when it's not on sale, which is why I don't think we'll see more than 20% off for quite a while or till we actually eventually get a sequel, which will probably be quite a while off. Now, next, we actually jump to one of the best 2D action platformers we have on the Switch, and that is Katana Zero, that is currently 40% off, dropping the price to $8.99. Look, if you love really crazy, fast-paced action with instant deaths, Katana Zero is your game. Fair warning though, this is a game that is quite challenging on this, on this week's list, so make sure that you're into that kind of gameplay before picking it up, because it is not necessarily an easy game to master. Now, the next game on our list is probably one of the best twin stick shooters we have on the Switch, and it is also probably my best value choice for this week, and that is the Hotline Miami Collection that is currently 75% off, making it $6.24 for both games in this collection. Now, basically, this is another difficult game with split-second reflexes. However, what is great about Hotline Miami is that it really rewards repetition. So as long as you play the levels enough and memorize them, you'll eventually get there. And there's also a great level of replayability because basically, depending on which mask you choose to confront the levels, will give you a totally different experience from one playthrough to the next. So the next game on our list is going to be Resident Evil 4. Look, currently pretty much all the Resident Evils on sale. However, I picked out my favorite. So we are going to have like three or four on these lists. And Resident Evil 4 is really among my favorites. It's currently 25% off, dropping the price to $14.99. We don't get a lot better than this for Resident Evil 4. And this is the one that actually shifted the series from the tank controls to the over-the-shoulder mechanic, which has become pretty much a staple of a lot of the games since then. And Resident Evil 4, for creepiness factor, is one that you should not miss. So if there's only if you're only going to play a few Resident Evils, make sure that the fourth one is on your list. Now, the next game on our list is going to be Enter the Gungeon. That is currently 50% off, dropping it down to $7.49. This is a bullet hell dungeon crawler but it is among one of the best we have on the Switch. Look, its sequel is going to be on the list as well, but if you have only one of the two games to play, play the original, not the sequel, because I would say that most people will be agree that Enter the Gungeon is a one-of-a-kind game that pretty much everyone should try as long as you have a tolerance for the difficulty level. 
Now, the next game on our list is going to be a 3D rogue light action game. And actually one I think of the best we have currently on the Switch. And that is Risk of Rain 2. That is currently 60% off, dropping the price all the way down to $9.99. And what I love about Risk of Rain 2 is that it keeps getting better. When it was released, there were some wonky things about it. But devel developers keep working on the game and it keeps getting better and better. So I would definitely say that if you're into the roguelite genre but you would like a 3D action game give Risk of Rain 2 a try. It is an amazing game. Now, the next game on our list is going to be another Resident Evil title, and that is Resident Evil Revelations 2. Now, the first one will be on our list as well, and definitely pick up the first one before trying the second one. Not only is the first one my favorite, but it'll also give you a baseline for the storyline of the Revelations series. And this one is currently 60% off at $7.99. Look, why do I love the Revelation series? There are two reasons. Number one, the storylines are great. Number two, the, they definitely got a bump up by going to the Switch because these were released originally for the 3DS. So it's actually one of the series that gets a significant boost and experience from actually playing it on the Switch. And thirdly, they're among the cheapest ones you can get at only $7.99. Now the next game is actually one I'm glad that is back on sale, although it is one of the more expensive entries on this week's list, and that is Jurassic World Evolution The Complete Edition. This is basically a park builder game where you have to build a dinosaur park like you see in the Jurassic World or Jurassic Park franchise. And at 45% off for $32.99, it is nonetheless quite a decent discount because you're getting all the DLC included because this is the complete edition. Personally, I love park builders when I want to kick back and have a laid back gaming experience. And Jurassic World Evolution is actually one of the better ones that I've played in the last, I would say, 10 or so years. So if you're into that type of gameplay, definitely give Jurassic World Evolution a look. On top of it, the controls on the Switch edition is a really, really nice port. Now, next, we have a game collection that pretty much makes the list every time it's on sale, and that is the Assassin's Creed Rebel Collection, which is currently 50% off, making it $19.99. Look, you're getting two full Assassin's Creed games for $20. And not only that, you're getting one of the two games that is one of my personal favorites, which is Black Flag. Basically, Assassin's Creed, if you're into that type of gameplay or you just like 3D action games in general, this is a collection that you should definitely look at picking up. Now, next, we jump into another rogue light game that actually shares a lot of similarities with Hades both in visual style and, I would say, gameplay style. Now, there are quite a few original elements. This is not a copy. But basically, if you liked Hades, but you're sort of burned out on it or you're done with that game, definitely take a look at Curse of the Dead Gods. That is currently also 20% off, dropping the price to $15.99. One thing, however, if what you loved about Hades is how they actually managed to meld in some storyline elements, there are quite a few less in Curse of the Dead Gods. It is way more focused around the gameplay than around putting little tidbits of storyline. But nonetheless, this is an amazing roguelite on the Switch. If you're into that genre, you're already done with Hades, take a look at this game. Now, the next game on the list is going to be the first Overcooked. I mentioned it was on sale earlier. Here it is at 75% off, dropping the price all the way down to $4.99. What I love about suggesting this game is if you're not too sure if you're going to like it and you want a cheap entry point, well, the first Overcooked is that cheap entry point. Just a fair warning, I maybe forgot to mention it in the first one. This is a game that is almost no fun in single player mode. You really need to be playing in co-op to really have enjoyment out of the game. Very few people I know actually enjoy playing this game alone, but as soon as you have at least a second person, it becomes an amazing game. Now, I mentioned it when we looked at the second one, but Resident Evil Revelations, the first one is also on sale at 60% off, also for $7.99. Everything I said about the second one applies for the first one. And personally, this is my favorite Resident Evil on the Switch, because like I said, this is the one that got a significant bump up from being ported to the Switch from the 3DS. And I finally really experienced a storyline that I really loved it, with a much better visuals and much better control scheme. 
Next, we get to another amazingly cheap collection on the Switch, but that you get a ton of value for, and that is the Borderlands Legendary Collection that is currently 60% off, dropping the price to $19.99. Look, you get three Borderland games, and with the third one that is supposedly on the way for the Switch, this is a perfect time to get up to speed. Just one fair warning, this is a great looter shooter, but you have to have probably over 40 gigs of space on your SD card if you want to have all three games installed at once. So just a fair warning, this one is going to take a ton of space on your SD card. Now we're getting to the last Resident Evil game, at least for today's list, and that is the remake of the original Resident Evil that is currently 35% off, dropping the price to $12.99. If you want to relive where it all started, but with better visuals, better controls, and an overall much more better flowing storyline, well then try the Resident Evil remake. It is an amazing game to try out, and you're getting a way better experience than I got originally when I played this game for the first time on my PS1. Now the next game on our list is another Metroidvania that is among the best on the Switch. However, this one is a lot more difficult and a lot darker than Ori and the Will of the Wisps. But if that's the style of game that you love, then Blasphemous should be definitely on your list for this week. It's currently 60% off at only $9.99. It's pretty much the lowest price I've ever seen it on the Nintendo Switch eShop. If you need any convincing for yourself or if you want to see if the difficulty level is for you, there is a free downloadable demo to this game as well. Now, the next game on our list is another Metroidvania. So if those first two weren't your style, then definitely take a look at Carry On, which is currently 33% off, dropping the price to $13.39. This is a Metroidvania where it flips the horror genre on its head. Because rather than playing the humans trying to escape the monster, you're playing the monster trying to eat all the humans and basically escape from the lab that you've been locked in. It's a crazy game, and if you're into Metroidvanias, this is a definite one you should take a look at for this week. Now, if those other Metroidvanias weren't your cup of tea because you always wished that they could be mixed with the rogue light genre, well, your wish is answered because Dead Cells is also on sale this week, for 30% off, dropping the price to $17.49. Fair warning though, I've already seen Dead Cells for cheaper than this on the eShop. But nonetheless, it is still an amazing game, and any price that you can get off this game if you were looking at purchasing it is better than paying the full price. So I still wanted to mention it on the list. I couldn't see myself making this list and not mentioning that Dead Cells was on sale. Just fair warning, I've already seen it for cheaper, but if not, it's still a decent price at $17.49. Another fair warning, very difficult game. If you're not into that, don't buy this game. Now, I said earlier that there were going to be more beat-em-ups on the list. We're still not done for today. We have River City Girls that is currently on sale for 30% off for $20.99. Now, this is a beat-em-up that actually doesn't go on sale too often. And if you don't know, it's a follow-up to an NES series where basically you were playing River City Ransom, you were playing the boys. Well, this time they get kidnapped and it's the girl's turn to save them, which is awesome that they flipped that on its head. And this is a very, very good beat-em-up. Not my personal favorite, but nonetheless, if you wanted to try a different beat-em-up because you've tried the others or they're simply not your cup of tea, River City Girls is another great one. Now, the next game on our list is an awesome FPS game that still has a couple of days left on the sale, and that is Metro 2033 Redux. Now, look, the whole Metro series is pretty much on sale. This is the first one that we're going to look at on the list. There are going to be others, but I believe they'll be in tomorrow's list. This one is currently 60% off at $9.99. If you love FPS games and you love dark storylines, the Metro series is among the best. Now, the next game on our list is a game that I've also mentioned quite a few times, and that is Immortals Phoenix Rising. That's currently 50% off, dropping the price to $29.99 for the base game. The Gold Edition is also on sale with the first DLC already unlocked, but we are actually beyond the first DLC now. So this game has a ton of content and a ton of playability if you want to be playing a game for a long time. If you need convincing, there's a free downloadable demo. One warning though, I did feature this game in my physical deals video this week, 
and it is often available physically for the same price for $29.99. So if you want to collect games, but you want to collect them physically, do check if that deal is still running before picking up the digital version. And now we're already at the last game for this first part of the list, and that is Shovel Knight Treasure Trove that is currently 25% off, dropping it to $29.99 for basically all the Shovel Knights combined into one collection. Now, just to let you know, in case you already own a few, all the games are also on sale separately. We're not going to look at them on the list, but if you do own a few, you can look at if purchasing them separately is worthwhile. But if not, if you don't own any of them, or you maybe only own one, it's probably cheaper to pick up the whole pack. And this is an amazing 2D side scroller, strongly influenced by the Mega Man series, but that really brought it into its own. And honestly, I am debating currently if this is not my favorite Switch game of all time. I'm sort of debating that to myself, but we'll see that in my 5,000 subscriber update video. But basically, if you love 2D side scrollers, I would say that the Shovel Knight Treasure Trove collection is a clearly very safe purchase. You can almost not go wrong with it. So that's pretty much it for part one of this week's eShop Deals video. Don't forget that part two is coming tomorrow, so make sure to tune into that one. It's actually crazy to think that we've already gone through 30 games this week and that there are still 30 more waiting for tomorrow. But anyway, I won't keep all of you any longer. Don't forget, however, that if you did like this video, please hit that like button and keep me motivated for tomorrow's video. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and hit the notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.